So perhaps you've made it and you've got your business up and running and you're trying to figure out how to make everything work together and you're seeing super successful people and they've got loads of time to do everything else and you're trying to figure out how to do that. Or you've got your own business, but you're a solopreneur, you're working from home, doing your own thing. And again, you haven't got that quite dream goal, dream career, which is where you've got the balance um, which I talk about in my other videos, so have a look at those, but the balance of how to get the best out of work and life balance. And that was the dream that you're going for. Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how you can do that and what the difference is really. I'm Trish Vardy, I'm an entrepreneur and super success seeker. And I really appreciate if you could follow me on all of my social media channels, at Trish Vardy, and hit the like button, leave a comment below, and share this as well. So the most common thing that is confused with is what it looks like to be an entrepreneur. Nowadays, you kind of see the kind of, it's almost like the glamorous celebrity kind of thing to be an entrepreneur, have your own business. But most businesses are small businesses and they're still run by people who are running families and small family businesses, just like ours. And what I've found is that in the early stages, in the very early stages of your business, it looks the same if you're an entrepreneur or a solopreneur. Now, I'm not gonna say there's anything wrong with us being a solopreneur because that can work really well for some people. It's just not my path and it may not be the path that many people are seeking because they're looking for this goal, which is, hey, I wanna get the balance between how to get the best out of my life and also get the uh, balance at home as well. So when you're an entrepreneur, initially what happens is you're doing everything. You're doing absolutely all the things that needed to be done and you're trying to figure out how to get everything working and make sure you scale it. When you're a solopreneur, you don't ever leave that stage. You're always just doing it on your own. You have the kind of, almost sometimes it can be for some people, not everyone, but it can be for some people, the kind of the, the ego trip, the hey, this is me, I've made it. The truth of it is it's difficult to scale that as a solopreneur, unless you're using tools or strategies such as maybe perhaps multi-level marketing or things like that, like pyramid type schemes, those kind of things. I know they get a lot of uh, negative press but they can, they can work if it's the right strategy for your business model. Um, and you're still using, what the main purpose of that is really, you're using the power of people, and that's the same concept with actually being a true entrepreneur, which is really, you need people, you need to scale. And that's the main purpose at what you're trying to do. Once you get your team sorted, you can then scale it to the next people and then go and build your community then. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please leave me a like and comment below and share this on all of your social media channels and I appreciate you watching this. Thank you.